ups and downs. The relentless evil had reached the not-quite-so-free cities in order to defeat another one of Thanos' comrades. But the defenses needed to be weakened first. The city's water supply was very close. Don't lose a single creature to the water and... Stop anyone from interrupting Talia while she contaminates the water. Okay. Together with the muscular ogre, the pillaging evil had destroyed the city of Lots of Winter. And so the former harbor city was consumed by the flames. All that remained was a smoking pile of misery. The third part of the Lots of Winter series should probably be named Ash Beach of Death then. <laughs> At the victory celebration, the ogre insisted on giving a little concert with his solo band. Unfortunately, no one was able to face the odors that followed his butt trumpet solos, and even Talia escaped with the smell-sensitive Evil's army as the poor soul-serving ogre collapsed, wheezing on the ground. And so the resource-wasting Evil had once again captured a ship to again sail off to some other place. This story is so, um, exciting and varied. And so the Carefree Evil's army sailed for the not-quite-so-free cities, a network of unacceptably prosperous towns spanning the islands in front of the mainland. It went without saying there was no way they could be ignored on the way to the capital city. But even more important was the fact that Elric the Pretty was there. A good-natured narcissistic paladin who served the goddess, and far, far worse, one of Thanos' comrades in arms. Certainly, Talia wouldn't pass up a chance to get one over on her foster father by shearing one of his little lambs and roasting it over a slow fire. <sighs> Where did I put great-grandfather's paladin it so wonderfully juicy recipe book? Did it really pick up the Steam notification in the corner? It probably did. Uh, I hate that. I wish there were ways to do it, but oh well. Let's see. I always hate hate these loading the screens because dialogue. Armies had reached the not quite so free cities. Several large cities were spread across numerous smaller islands. The capital of Alphas was very close. This was probably where Elric the Pretty was to be found. Unfortunately, the not-quite-so-free cities were very well defended. A direct attack would be unwise. But the insidious evil had already formed a plan designed to weaken the defenses. There were a number of fresh water supplies located very close to the landing site. If someone were to add something to them, the effects could be very interesting. <laughs> Ah, that's why I have this vial of zombie virus with me. Excellent! Poison water, create undead. Got it. Onwards, creatures. Smash them, break their necks, introduce motions of censure against them. Unfortunately, the waters were extremely tricky in this area and could rise and fall within a very short time. But sadly, the hydrophobic evil's creatures had never taken a swimming course. <laughs> Idiots. Morons. No loss there. You could look at it that way, but the fatigued evil was getting tired of always replenishing its armies. It had therefore prudently already built a crypt in order to be able to revive horde creatures. Hmm, sure, for all I care. I'm getting the itch, and that means I have to destroy something soon. So apparently that uh, Steam, uh, Steam uh, overlay thing was actually part of the game. I hadn't picked up on it because I'm, I'm so predisposed to ignoring those that uh, it didn't... It didn't even register for me. Oh, come on. If you mouse over the UI, it'll actually break it. It's dumb. 
Oh well, yeah, it's, uh, let's expand this sucker out. Yeah, so if uh, if while you're trying to like click and drag and it goes over the UI, it it, it breaks down and can't handle it. Kind of awkward. Not my favorite, but that's okay. Anyway, let's start. Uh... Let's start just kind of filling in the dungeon. I should probably get out and get those things of evil. I don't know how long this hmm. lasts for. What is that weird thing in oh. the dungeon? Looks like some kind of portal, but it seems to be inactive. Then we can ignore it for now. Ah, yes. The simplicity of the maliciously minded. But anyway, the portal thingy, or whatchamacallit, seemed to be extremely solidly built and indestructible anyway. It therefore actually did make sense to ignore it for now. Okay, yeah, we'll want to get a research room, but I don't think we got enough evilness points for it. We do already have a graveyard. A functional graveyard at that. I guess actually using a graveyard as a defensive post is not a bad idea. Generally. I'm just gonna start queuing up some of these uh, dig projects. Because at some point, we're going to need to uh, dig this whole place out. Okay, so I got five. We have two entrances to the dungeon. Are both waterlocked? Sort of. Two minutes and 55 seconds. Oh. Let's, uh... Let's take my group. I send the them out. Queen of evil. Yeah, because I wanna I wanna get over here before those tides come in. There are the crabs, or the crabs the crabs are gone. Okay, good. So I don't I don't actually have to fight crafts. Or I do. Evil giant crab? Eh, we got two and a half minutes. Yeah, we're good. Uh so let's get the Arcanium, and then I'm gonna get the uh the portal as my first upgrade. Because if I can portal around, that means I don't have to worry about the tides as much. Okay, yeah, this this looks this looks manageable. At least for the time being. Does look like we're gonna have to fight a fair amount of evil giant crabs here, but that's okay. We're about to lose our banshee, but that's fine. She's kind of super expendable. Let's see. Do we have anything else we can do immediately? Yes. I can work on that. Apparently that's a big old room. I wanna get the I want to get the Librarium fairly soon, but I don't think we've got the ability for it yet. Okay, let's just go for those priests. And then we're good. <sighs> Problem is the priests heal each other, of course, so that always means it's slower going. Vista, baby. Okay. So I've got 52 seconds. What we're gonna do? No, we can fight these crabs. We got we got time for craft. Payday. We have definitely got time for craft, and I'm gonna park myself outside the walls here. Cause this will get me uh, two aisles of evil. Suddenly, this portal thing in the dungeon started to light up. Something was happening. Heroes on the surface had obviously activated it and used it as a direct access to the dungeon, bypassing the arduous route through the overworld. What? Heroes are using a portal into the dungeon. Crush them! Scratch their eyes out! Feed them cats! Okay, we'll deal with that in a little while. Hopefully they're not going to go after that portal, because, yeah, if I can get to that other Fountain of Evil... We'll be in a nice spot. Anyways, everybody good? You. No. Damn it. Not you. That. It's not nap time. Not yet, anyway. Well, one way or another, I've got one, uh, uh, one Isle of Evil for the time being. So I'll do for now. Let's get that lecture hall going. I want to get the healer upgrade, but later. 
Okay, so we've already got a crypt, which is really important. We've got sleeping chambers, but... Nope, we don't actually need more sleeping chambers for at least a little bit. And we got a book. Wage reduction, normal. Um, let's see, where's my... My zombies? Oh, wait. G Gita. Gita the Frugal. Okay, cool. So we got that set up. Got a ton of gold in here, but unfortunately it kind of locks off the room in an awkward way. Well, mm, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start digging. Everywhere. You know, actually... Yeah, we do not have enough snots. There's always... There's always room for more snots in this whole situation. So there's a portal back here that the heroes will be coming through, and that's probably going to be their main route in for most of this. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're going for that. I... Oh! Oh, the tides have already come and gone. Was not exactly expecting that. Okay, well, let's expand all the way down here. See, looking good on this regard. There's always, like, an odd chamber back somewhere. And I intend to find it. And then make the heroes go maybe a long way around? I don't know how many times I'm going to get attacked here. Because if I get attacked a whole lot, then obviously... On a deal. Okay, uh... So it's good there. A lot of random free mana. Um... Now the real question is, what do I do with this area? I guess I can do that. Maybe, uh, put something in along here. Seems reasonable. Maybe beer? Because we're going to need more toolboxes. Oh, speaking of more. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We've already got toolbox production. Uh, we don't have much space for it, but we do have toolbox production. What we don't have is, uh... Is gobblers. So let's expand the uh, gobbler production for a little while. Oh, let's see. I really would love to play like a cross between this game and Banish someday. And I guess that's kind of what Stonehearth's supposed to be. Uh, but Stonehearth doesn't really have a whole lot on dungeon defense. And I want more dungeon defense, less needs filling, maybe? It looks like there's a fairly substantial area back here. So we'll see what we can find along along these routes. Even though I personally find it difficult to distinguish between that rotten undead smell and the smell of fish, the local heroes' noses were much better trained. They soon set out to get to the bottom of things, which is to say, the underground. I mean, the dungeon. I'm surprised we haven't found any spider caverns yet. Or, well, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll find some spiders back here. Let's see, do we have... No, we don't have any adventurers. Okay, uh, let's see. So while we're here, we do not have the guard room. We do not have the brewery. We do not have the tinkerer's cave. Let's let's get those going. Do I have the cash for a brewery? I do have the cash for a brewery. And I should have the ca cash for a tinker's machinarium. Payday. Of course, we immediately hit payday, so there, there goes my cash. Ah, here we go. Enemies have entered the dungeon, and it does look like an uh, enemy heroes will come from Keep any angle to come after yourself. 
I don't know. I don't know how often I'm gonna get attacked here. I'd like to build, uh, crazy defenses, but since we always get attacked from multiple angles, it's, uh... Kind of a hard thing. Oh, there might actually be stuff back here. Now that I'm looking at it. Like, back behind the staircase. Okay. Yeah. Gonna restrict the brewery for a bit. We're gonna make the heroes take the really long way around. Force them to come back through this way. If I only have to, if I only have to, uh, defend from, like, certain angles, that'll generally just make my life easier. Bleh. Room efficiency is not my strong point. Okay, oh. Can they not, yeah, they can't reach that. That's why they're not digging there. Yeah, no, no major spider nests. Or anything. Does look like we've got some kind of something in the in the center of these denser areas. Ooh, there's our diamond mine. It's like freaking forever and a half away, but that's okay. Okay. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. Fill that in. And we're just gonna force them to take the super long way around. Around this way, they'll have to attack from um, from this specific section here. Let's see. So I guess while we're at it, oh, we just have a couple of dead heroes there. Do we get the dungeon? Unfortunately, dungeon isn't so bad. It just gets expensive. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind getting traps up in this. I guess that's the other thing. I can actually just block this off here. And force them to come around through here. Because I'm not even using that ha section of the dungeon. It'd work! And I kind of want to do it. So I'm gonna make a cut through right there so these guys don't have to walk as far. Okay, do we have any other treasure just line, lining the grounds? At some point I, I should probably put the... Uh, I should... Uh, I should probably put vaults in each one of these corners. Later dates. Yeah, no, no major spider nests. Just like a little bit of mana here and there. All right, sure, why not? There are enemies in your dungeon. It would be great if I could put traps in the portal room. Like if that's, hey! that would be so cool if you could uh, trap it. But I guess that would be ridiculous. It's just like up oh, the well. This is where we come from. Let's just point a cannon at it. Portal activates. You shoot, you, uh, shoot the rock. Everything blows up. Okay, so we blocked off everything yet. We have not. Enemies have entered the dungeon. Why not? 
This whole area is accessible. Yeah? It should be. Why, why can't they block that off? Oh. No, because they can go through here. Is it too long? Hey, shouldn't be too. It shouldn't be too long. Up. Oh. Triumph. A rumor okay. passed through the ranks of the rumor mongering evil's army that there was a time worn ritual site somewhere in the area where an ancient evil creature could be summoned. The immediately taking notes evil was extremely interested. And how? Oh, we got Daddy it. new creatures are always good. <laughs> Thanos will be amazed when I face him. Okay. Uh, I guess it's working now. I, I don't know what the, the deal was there. Well, do we get a prison? It's a bit small for a prison. a bit small for a prison. I mean, this might be a bit excessive for a prison, but let's go with that. I missed the corner in the bottom right of the map. I swear I had that. I, I guess not. Whatever. It's, um... Oh, you're right. I did mi miss that corner. Yeah, that tiny little, tiny little corner bit. Hard to see. Okay. Well, let's keep being kind of slow here. See, we've already got the Arcanum. We can get a Lich. Can't take much, but it does deal AoE. I'm gonna to get the research for a Lich. How much does it cost to get one of these suckers? 750. Holy crap. All right. All right, did I never I never actually expanded the the gobbler. The gobbler den. I just thought about it. I hadn't gotten there yet. Okay. Uh, let's see. So people are on strike. Well, let's Enough evil points. Well, I guess let's just keep getting liches. They don't have that much HP, though. That's the one problem. His name is Dumbledork. Oh, man. That's a good name for Dumbledork. Okay, I don't even know what that room's gonna be. So, we've got... Potential. Uh, can I put down traps? I can, but I don't have the research for it yet. Let's get simple traps for the time being. They get kind of pricey. Well, really, all we need is probably just the Thrasher. And then, can I... Okay, so I could get arrow traps in these corners. And then spike traps as they come and go, except for... I'm out of gold. Almost out of gold. Okay, that, that'll that be enough defenses for a bit. Let's gather our horde and head out this portal. Water or not, shouldn't matter. Oh, interesting. The, uh... The crabs respawn with the tides, I guess. Well, that's helpful. Enemies have entered the dungeon. 
Oh, well, I guess we should probably go deal with that first. We do not have our traps down. Once we got our traps down, this won't be so bad. But at least we can uh, kind of freely zip around. Oh, is that where the crabs spawn from? Might be. Sure showed him. Okay, uh, so we've done that. We still don't have enough evilness points. We're working on that one. Well, my gobblers, my gobblers will be okay. Okay, and there we go. Come nope, on nope. Me. Oh, oh, the, the water's already come and gone. But we should probably stop and heal once we kill all these evil giant crabs. Wait, if these are evil giant crabs, why don't they join my side? You'd think evil giant crabs would be wooed by the, uh... You'd think evil giant crabs would be wooed by my, well, evilness. I'm mildly disappointed here, honestly. Okay. Go through here. I'm gonna get another Naga. We kind of really don't have enough of them. It's payday. Okay, so we're gonna have to have some hefty casualties from this mess. And stay down. It seems like the liches are pretty good. Hasta la vista, baby. We just need a uh, better front line. Who do you want to kill? Okay. Yeah, if we can take out the um I'm the queen of evil. We can take out that healer actually. They're not they will not heal up. Ow! Makes this a bit easier. That thief is probably going to crush me though. We're probably going to have to lick our wounds after this one. Oh, yeah, especially because there's a bombardier right in that set. Okay, leaving. I don't think they'll heal, but... Ow. And are they going to go through the, for the portal? Yeah, they're going to go for the portal. Blech. Oh, it's fine. It's not that far in. And actually, I can come from the other side this time. Maybe? I could at least poison one of the things. Well, it's hardly a problem. That that tide does not take long to go. And the liches should probably, uh, the liches probably will also work the reviv revivification chambers. Which would be nice. Oh, I should probably expand this. We don't actually have enough space for, um... Uh, any rev any revivals, so the corpses are just going to lay there. And I'm not entirely sure if they decompose. But that's not something that I want to risk right now. Let's see how many more little snots can we get? One more. Okay, there. Now they'll be hung up and won't just disappear on me. So we need the healing upgrade. We need the orcs upgrade. We need more evilness. Uh, we could use a dungeon, actually. There are enemies in your dungeon. Because if there's enemies in my dungeon, that's good potential evilness generation. So I'll just wait for a second for my guys to revive. Uh, let's see. Do we? Enemies have entered the dungeon. Uh, full regeneration would be nice. We do not have access to that yet. See, I actually do not have uh, much of a defense right now. 
We have zombies, we got liches. Both come back pretty quick. Oh, did they really, uh... Yeah, it looks like Orlandoc and the other guys are already kind of alive. Should work. We don't have a whole lot of durable Take durable groups in this, worm. but my enemies look to be mostly easy too. It's just we have two enemy groups as part of this, which is iffy. I say I think I'll get uh, full regeneration first. Oh, shoot, she can't. She can't use her mana bomb. Down in here. Can she? Might just be her versus the wardens. Can I swat them? Can I swat her? I mean, she's probably gonna win? Just wait. Yeah, the double invasion immediately after. Oh. And there they go. The, yeah, the double invasion immediately after, uh... After all of this gets risky. So let's make, uh, Dumbledore also fru frugal. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to get a torture chamber, but, uh, that's seriously, uh, resource intensive getting there. Uh, getting the prison will be helpful, at least for a little bit. Um... Uh, so what do we immediately want to do? We want to get the uh, we want to get the full regeneration because that way we don't have to wait for this. Huh? Because yeah, the the healing ab ability that the uh, the Naga get upgrading that would be very appreciated. But we're not there yet. Let's see, I'm gonna make treasuries around every little gold mine. It's payday. So my little snots don't walk every single time they finish mining. There we go. That'll that'll save some time. Okay, what do we do next? Yeah, we didn't get the evilness that we wanted. But we'll be okay. How's my how are my orcs doing? Very slow. I am glad that I uh, rerouted the heroes. That was a uh, that was a good amount of foresight on my part. That could have, I mean, probably isn't going to save me that much trouble, but it'll save me some. I'm just going to make sure we have everything explored. Yeah, there was not a single spider chamber in this entire in this entire dungeon. Which is super unusual. Either that or it's lurking in one of the very few corners of the dungeon I haven't dug out yet. But yeah, just to get the torture chamber, it's another 600 evil points and we're not there yet. Okay. So the Naga are getting revived at the very least. I'd like to get an ogre, but again, thousand thousand evilness. Long way to finishing that process. I saw oh, you know what? We saw the crabs moving around down below. That's why. Okay, so... All that's left is Tel Rasha. And everybody will be alive again. Everyone will be alive! Oh wait, no, there's still uh, Selena Gomez. Faster! 
think liches would be a little bit more resistant to this sort of thing. But they are not. Enemies oh. have entered the dungeon. I just want to have like a bunch of crabs. Just show up in the dungeon. Just one wave that is nothing but, uh... That is just nothing but, like, a stupid amount of crabs. That would satisfy me to no end. Or amuse me. Or both. What about crab people? No, that's, uh, that's South Park. I can't believe I actually didn't do that segment, because there was, there was a whole crab me crab people segment down in the sewers that I forgot about. Oh, well. Let's see, did my traps do anything? No, because they're currently blueprints. We're not, uh, we actually have not done any. Okay, so let's, let's finally get the healing upgrade. Let's get the last little snot. And after this, I'm just going to increase the, uh, the amount of healers I've got in the party, I think. How's our graveyard doing? Uh, I'm probably good on graves, actually. I don't know if the, uh, the gravestones can be moved around willy-nilly. Or not. I guess I could expand it a little bit more, just in case. Especially if I'm gonna be bringing on more liches. As part of this. Don't goblins make boxes? So goblins make the boxes. Uh, where little snots make boxes. Uh, orcs and goblins make, uh... Orcs and goblins will make, uh... The, the actual traps themselves. Which is kind of a weird annoyance because, you know, generally I'm using them as a fighting force. And it throws me off more than a little bit. Uh, that I can't do it immediately. Okay, so we've got the, uh, revival room. I'm just going to expand the hideout. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to get the powerful lich upgrade. But maybe I should work on, uh... Either Talia or Ironhide. How are my, uh, how are my orcs doing level-wise? They're three. Getting them up to Ironhide might not be a bad idea. Oh! My skeletal archer is reviving the graveyard. Okay. Well, I'm glad I expanded it then. Dungeon games usually give the unit dual rules as worker fighters. Uh, it's just most dungeon games also don't involve such hefty, uh, overworld segments. Uh, that would be kind of my complaint here. It would be nice if I could actually designate them as, like, worker roles, for example. Payday. And make it so that they don't come along. Maybe. Because if we were in the dungeon all the time, I would, uh, I would 100% be down. Uh, with limiting myself like that. Okay, we gotta go get more, uh, Isles of Evilness. Yeah? There are enemies in your dungeon. Motherfuck! Ouch! Ow! Apparently we're also low on, uh, gobblers. No, we're not. Somebody was, I guess, just hungry? I'm not sure where this uh, this shows up. Hey, keep your hands to your. Okay. I think we're fine on on food. I want Thanos. We'll see. Looks looks like a lot of my undead are kind of wounded. Uh. Here we've got a Isle of Evil up here, and I think I can cross this in 30 seconds. There are enemies in your dungeon. Yeah.
There we go. <sighs> you kill one group and the next one just kind of shows right up. Oh, it's okay. They have to take a really long, dr drawn-out route around, so it's not actually, you know, a big set setback. Just a nuisance. Okay, so let's get a portal down. Oh. No, I should probably I should probably fight them. The traps would be nice, but the extra EXP would be more useful. Okay, so next up, do we get more creatures or let's get the gobbler upgrade? Okay, you guys are looking good. Comes from above. Back through the portal we go. I want Thanos's head. Okay. So I've got a fair while. Let's just uh, crush some crabs. Yeah, I like the liches because the the liches have a nice AOE move. She's not gonna get up. I'm not sure how long it uh, exactly lasts for, but that's okay. Like. Uh, how effective the slow is and how long it lasts. Oh, next up we should probably get the uh, the Iron Orc. Come on. The Iron Orc upgrade would probably be most useful. Yeah, because I I focus so hard on uh on getting little snots. I've noticed my income has been really good. My evilness points are always a bit of a hard thing to farm though. Oh yeah. Yeah, because we took out the healer, uh they have they haven't healed since we last came through. Which makes this real easy. Mostly. I'm just gonna kind of blitz through a number of these things. Let's go with the unit spawner. I can't imagine I'm gonna have anything spawn on me. I mean, nothing spawned while we were out and about. I'm not actually sure what those houses do. Now that... Now that I say it. Because it, it feels like they're almost kind of... Their effects are not made up. Because uh, we've never actually heard of them as, as generic unit spawners for like the invasion groups. I'm probably just gonna lose my orcs here. Well, that's fine. Even, even if we lose them, we're just gonna head back to the base and hang out for a while anyway. Let's see, I got that. I guess I'll double up the gobblers for the time being. Yeah, we are we are out of uh, out of orcs. Well, we're fine. Whoops, that's that's not the one. Demon portal. Give your orders. Technically, maybe I should have not done the demon portal, but this way we get back and we can just do whatever we want. Okay. Uh, let's see. So next up, what do we want to do? Getting the um torture chamber, I think, is the the next route. How does it spawn general patrols and respawn goodies that die in the area? Okay. Because, yeah, we killed a bunch of goodies there like 10 minutes prior and they didn't respawn. I... I don't know. I do not know. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Graveyard upgrades. Uh, it would be nice to get the extra skeleton and zombie packs. That might actually be more useful. It's payday. Well, let's go with more skeletons because we're. That's probably going to be more immediately applicable because we don't know when the next uh, invasion group's coming in. Let's see. We've got enough beds. I guess I, I could get a bunch of traps down. Sure.
Interesting. Oh, it's because I'm out of... It's because I'm out of boxes. Uh... Well, in that case, I'm just going to expand this so we can fit more boxes. So we can just get this down. Yeah, Warframe's back up. Yeah! Is it stable, though? That's the question. Uh, for people watching this on YouTube, I was playing Warframe right before this, and the servers just died. And I'm like, the maybe just gonna give it a bit of a... Just a bit of a pass. I didn't kill all of them. The, I was, the healer was holding back. Oh, because the uh, the healer was holding back because of the uh, because the trap had trigger uh, had triggered them. I was wondering about that. 